Welcome back to Riverbend Springs, the new American map coming to Farming Simulator 25 on November 12th. Riverbend Springs was announced ahead of FarmCon way back in July and has to be hands down the best Giants delivered map to date. Now I thought we'd seen a lot of Riverbend Springs to date, but after watching this trailer, I realized we've just scratched the surface. Let's go ahead and finish watching this and then let's break it all down. Our opening scenes run us along the river's edge as we follow the International Transstar on a delivery run. In Farm Sim 22, we had a corn maze. What seems in FS25, we will also see a sunflower maze. A quick glimpse of the stream crossing in autumn, as well as a beautiful stand of corn in front of what I presume to be a grain cell point with the ability to offload to a barge. And all that's before the title slide. The sun comes up over the hillside to bring a new day to the valley that Riverbend Spring calls home. We see here the main water tower as well as the back of, if I recall correctly, the spinnery. Then quickly to a maze where we can see a scarecrow, tractor, coach, and ship. Did you explore the maze in Farm Sim 22? Let me know down in the comments below. There are only two ways to cross a river without getting wet. One method involves a bridge, which I'm sure we'll see ample of on Riverbend Springs, and a second is a ferry, which we can also use for the very first time in a Giants delivered map. There appears to be lots of new player characters in FS25. The player creation tool in FS22 was a big jump up from the simple options in FS19, and it looks like in FS25 we'll have just as big, if not a larger jump and the ability to create and customize your player, which you'll now get to see in third-person view, a confirmed feature coming to FS25. Silver Shaft Wagons, introduced last week in the Constructions and Missions blog post, will let players build stagecoaches like those of days gone by. In addition to the coach builder, other businesses call Riverbend Springs her home, like Gasket, the local gas station and convenience store. Thank God they accept Wizza, Ultra Card and Farming Progress forms of payment. When you're exploring any of the base maps coming on November 12th, be sure to check out the ads on the doors and windows. Some of them give, will give you quite a good chuckle. The Central Cafe is home to classic American food, including the beloved neon green drink River Dew. Be sure to show up between the hours of 6A and 10P or you might just be left out in the cold. Businesses publish their hours all over Riverbend Springs. It's as if they're not going to be open for business at all times of day and night. Might we have to abide by these hours to buy or sell goods? Is Hardware Bob a deco object just to fill out the map? Or could it be a place to buy and sell things? Maybe a resource for concrete bags to aid in some construction projects? There's a good deal right now. They're 15% off. Big Moose Dairy might not only be a place for cheese and butter like it was in FS22, but also to bottle your goat milk, processed goat and water buffalo cheese, and who knows what else. No self-respecting southern town would be complete without a football field, and of course everyone knows that on Friday night you're going to be out supporting your team. What do you think of the team mascot might be this year? Sound off in the comments below. If you head down to the river, be sure to bring bug spray because those skeeters are absolute monsters this time of the year. Maybe you want to live on a riverboat. Working Buttons seems to be our tailor shop for FS25. It's been in business since 1908, quite a survivor staying in business, proving that zipper jackets couldn't beat it, and Velcro is just for the uncivilized. Book a room on a riverboat and relive the days of Tom Sawyer. Oh, don't forget about the train. Will we be able to sell goods off the map just like FS22? What if the sell point will be Elm Creek or Goldcrest Valley? 
Selling things by train isn't the only way to get rid of your harvest. Sell points are also set up to simulate selling down the river using a barge. Who knows? Maybe they do sell down the river. As we know, the barges are going up and down the river. You have to wait for them at ferry crossings, as I saw in my early access gameplay video released earlier. I'll put a link to that at the end of this video if you haven't seen that yet. Now, I had been wondering, how did all those logs get into the log pond? I still have a theory of a magic tunnel, and I'll be looking for that once I have access to the full game. But in the meantime, it appears that logs will be unloaded from a train to roll down into the pond. Of course, the old down run grain mill. Are you up to the challenge of rebuilding the mill to its former glory so it can be a museum to local agricultural history? I noticed in a recent feature trailer that the Transstar had a logo on the door, yet in this trailer, it does not. Possibly a configuration option in the store. Now, wouldn't it be cool if there was an easy way to add your own logo? Maybe like a logo designer in game? Come on, Giants. Sounds like a great idea. As I mentioned in my early access video playing Riverbend Springs, it's cool to see a working farm that's also set up as a destination for kids to come and enjoy some games and learn about agriculture. We've got a few of these in my area that are super popular around this time of year for pumpkins. Although I'm not sure about that swimming hole. It just doesn't seem to be deep enough for me. Oh, our first look at a riding trail. Could this be for horses or hey giants? Where are those motorbikes? We know they're coming to the game. Give up the goods already. Let's see them. Maybe they're gonna be in this week's fact sheets. Who knows? Now, don't forget about the rope plant. Do you have any idea how we make rope? Let me know down in the comments. This was a point of discussion at the recent influencer preview event for Farming Simulator 25. Cotton or wool is about the only thing that I could come up with for rope that's in game because I thought we were going to get maybe flax before peas and green beans were confirmed. I'm looking forward to exploring the area around the paper mill, and I just might do a little bit of forestry to see the mill in action. Did you ever wonder what happened to Axel Rose of GNR? Maybe he opened up Axel's Tractor Center, where he can buy and lease all sorts of ag equipment. If you didn't realize bees were making a return to FS25, well, here they are. And it looks like their homes have gone through a bit of extensive redesign. Be sure to come down to Riverbend Springs on November 12th when Farming Simulator 25 releases to the public. Pre-order your copy now or wait until those with early access can show it off. In either way, if you're on PC, please consider using my affiliate link in the description below. To help me move towards my goal of becoming a gold partner as well as historically this is the fastest way to get the game and dlcs upon release if you like physical copies of the stuff then there is a collector's edition which includes the base game as well as a ton of other cool things including the usb ignition lock that lets you turn vehicles on and off from a real world key switch use the amazon link in the comments console players you can also take advantage of that link in order to order a physical copy be sure to select the proper platform before adding it to your cart. Don't miss out on a single video related to Farming Simulator 25 by subscribing to the channel. It's free and you'll get all kinds of rewards like the best map guide videos out there. I'm quickly making my way to recording my 1000th map video from FS17 to FS22 and beyond. Lastly, hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed today's breakdown of the trailer. Maybe you learned about something new. And if so, let me know down in the comments below what that might be. Liking the video goes a long way on YouTube, recommending your videos to those with other similar viewing habits. Until next time, happy farming.